Hello everybody, we're here again today. It's me again, I'm very sorry. I haven't got any more film stars to spare. Um, we're gonna make a nice big casserole with wild boar. All the veggies from the garden. Uh, this is a piece of wild boar. This is big red. We pop them in the oven for two or three ovens, uh, uh, hours, and then we put a cobbler, we'll make a cobbler. If you know what a cobbler is. It's a fellow who lives in Midhurst and repairs boots, Nigel. But other than that, he's uh, it's like a big dumpling. And we take the lid off for the last 20 minutes or so to crisp the top. Very nice tucker. Right, we'll start by putting the sanglier. This is wild boar, sanglier. It's French for wild boar. In the pot, he's not very big bit, so I put a few chops and bits and pieces in with it as well. Just for the fun of it. Right. Right, we need a bit of oil in there because the old wild boar, wild pigs are a bit, there's no fat on them whatsoever. Start them off with some salt and pepper. To taste, this is uh, black pepper. My little grinder, what a lovely thing out of in there, a dried chilli pepper, we don't want it too hot, those ones are quite nice, catch my milk on fire, We got some sage from the garden. It is midwinter, but it's still pretty good. It smells lovely. Let's give it a little bit of a wash. I suppose we could chop some little bits of that up a bit, but the stalks can go in. So. No end to my talents out there, eh? It's very precise as you see this. You have to do it exactly to the book. No meal ever tastes the same as the last one, really. Yeah. Okay. Leeks. Keep them out of your boat. Shallots from the garden. Lisha lots, a little baby butternut squash, a nice fat swede, a few potatoes, uh, we'll put some water. Mm, if I think of anything else, I'll add it to it in a little bit. I'm going to prepare the vegetables now. Very important to take all your trimmings and back out and compost and recycle it, put it back on the garden, make it all grow again for next year. Bits of all gritty soil get down in these. The soil in our garden is very fine. And as the plant grows, it gets down in there. The layers. And we need to get some water in it. It's just about up to about there, and that's plenty. Steam the whole stuff away nicely. For those of you who have liked a bit of sort of gravy stuff. Bit of old gravy powder. Bit of flour from thickener. Mix 
it all up first, otherwise it goes to hard lumps when I cook. Right, pop the lid on and we'll throw that in the oven. It's uh, yeah, two and a half hours before lunch, that'll be lovely. Turn that up to a bear. Well, hold it not too hot. Temperature. Knobs are all warm, it's a bit heavy. See you later. Okay, now for the dump punts. Dump blink, the cobbler. Need a belt. Need some, that's a nice flour. That's a, uh, what's different cereal? Seven cereal bread flour. We buy it locally. It's quite a strong flour, bread flour. I think we need a belt. About that much. This is suet. Oh, a bit too much in there. About half of the weight of the flour. Bit of salt. I like using suet, it's really good for it, it clogs your arteries up a treat. Use butter if you really must, but uh, not everybody likes butter. Not everybody likes syrup. They all like the dumplings and the cobblers. Just mix it all up nicely, crumble it up a bit. Get your hands into it. Get your hands nice and clean, all underneath the fingernails. Beautiful. coming on a tree. You can see on my guitarist, can't you? Right. Drop cold water. It's got to be cold, otherwise you'll mix the... Uh... Ah, I forgot the important bit. Shouldn't keep talking to me, you know, it's hopeless. Yeast. A baker's yeast, just like making bread. And then it rises nicely, because we're putting this aside for an hour and a half. Maybe a little bit more. This is a yeast that you can add directly to the, to the mix. You don't have to put it into the warm water to make it rise first. Do you know, I think we could spice that up a bit with a bit of, with a bit of Cajun. I like Cajun spices. Don't go too mad. Just a bit. Like that. Lovely. Oh, that smells nice. Right, cold water. I don't know how much, but you just keep adding it till you've got a nice stiff old lump of dough in there. Takes a bit of mixing up. There's a very fine point between not enough and too much, but what that is in weight, so I've no idea. Just get into it until it looks all right. Oh, that's 
see it's all starting to clag together. Don't get any hot water in it or whether you'll melt the lard and it will you never get it. Just go a big lump. Like uh, pork pie pastry. I suppose that would be something to do one day, wouldn't it? making a bit of bread really. Not that we don't need to knead it too much. Just need to be hungry enough. Oh, did I really say that? <laughs> <laughs> I get worse. Silly old fool. Right. A little bit. Right, I'll put a nice cover over the top of that, just a tea towel, pop it over the top of the stove and blow the warm, and that'll be ready later on. And by the miracle of technology, that's going to be ready in about three seconds. So, I'll see you in a bit. By the miracle of modern technology, it is now 10 seconds later and dinner's ready. Oh, that smells good. But we've got to do the cobbler. Oh. Wow, that looks all right. I'll press down. One cobbler. There he is. Poor old Nigel. Nigel the cobbler going in on top of the pot. Just like that. Leave it open, leave the top off. Back in the oven, probably 20 minutes. I don't know why they're called cobblers. Those things. I know why cobblers are called cobblers because they mend your boots. See you in 20 minutes. And there's the finished thing. Crumbs, that's heavy. Look at that. Lovely. Can't wait to get stuck into that. I think I could probably, mm, it's two o'clock, I could probably get finished that by four. Um, if you've got nothing better to do and you'd like to join us for dinner, you've got about 20 seconds to get here. Sorry, too late. See you later. Bye for now. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, please. Come on, guys, get this into you. Oh, somebody touched the top on the bottle. <laughs>